हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स एंड दिस इज फिजियो क्वेस्ट सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड वेरी ट्रिकी वन एज वेल सो मार यर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली दैट व्हाट इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव गॉड इन द क्वेश्चन द इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट वी हैव रिसीव इन द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज गोइंग टू बी लीस्ट इफेक्टिव इन रिड्यूसिंग लेटरल पटेला ट्रैकिंग now it's a bit complicated question like you need to understand what they are trying to ask you so i'm going to break it for you the first one is least effective which means that it has to give minimal effect for whatever the purpose it is asked for and for what it is asked for for reducing the lateral patella tracking now again here also it is a twist that there is a lateral patella tracking and we have to reduce it okay so basically we have to bring it back to the medial side we have to cause the medial tracking of the patella so for that which exercise will be least effective that is what they have asked in the question so i am i hope that this you have understood i am going to read this question again that which of the following is least effective in reducing lateral patella tracking for the patient all right now the options what we have received are option a which says gluteus maximus muscle and gluteus medius muscle option b which says vmo strengthening option c which says hip internal rotator strengthening and option d which says that hip internal rotators as well as hip abductor strengthening now before answering the question we need to understand that what exactly is going to cause your lateral patella tracking and which muscles can be involved in this and according to that we can answer this question that which muscle strengthening is going to be least effective for treating this particular condition so let's first first understand that what causes the lateral patella tracking so it's very simple that we have to understand this with the help of q angle now what is q angle so q angle is like one line drawn from the like uh, mid part of the quadricep muscle uh, and uh, asis to the mid point of the patella and another one line drawn from the uh, patellar uh, tendon where it is attached over the tibial tuberosity and to the mid point of the patella and whatever the angle is formed over there is considered as q angle in cases where this q angle increases okay now what is the normal limit so it is like 13 for male and 18 for female if it increases from 13 or 18 for male and female it is considered as increased q angle and because of that we will observe that there will be valgus deformity as well as there will be lateral patellar tracking one more reason for this can be like anti version of the hip okay which is like hip is rotated more towards the anterior side which is like hip is going for more in the external rotation if such is the case again we can observe that there will be lateral patellar tracking so now these are the causes for causing the lateral patellar tracking now let's go to the answers what we have received options what we have received and in that what all it can be done now in this one easiest option to remove is vmo strengthening vastus medialis obliterans muscle is already present in the medial side of the knee joint so if you strengthen this muscle and it's also made uh, the action of this muscle is to bring the patella in the medial direction so definitely strengthening of this muscle is going to cause more medial tracking or it is going to cause radio reduction in the lateral tracking of the patella but in the question what we are asked is which of the following is least effective for reducing the lateral patella tracking whereas vmo strengthening is like most effective so that option we can easily eliminate i hope that you have got the it second uh, option which we can easily eliminate is the internal rotator strengthening now why internal rotator strengthening because just now i told you that if there is a hip anti version which is like external rotation of the hip it can cause the lateral patella tracking and instead of that if we are strengthening the internal rotators automatically what will happen it will help you for reducing the lateral patella tracking as well as reducing the anti version of the hip joint automatically we will see the changes in the lateral patella tracking and it will be beneficial for us in such case option c and option d we can see there is written that hip internal rotator strengthening so i think this also can be 
like uh, we can cancel it but still just uh, wait for cancelling the option d because it is like along with hip abductor strengthening okay which is also present in the option a so what does the option a says option a says that there is a strengthening of gluteus maximus and gluteus medius gluteus maximus mainly performs what it performs the extension of the spine as well as also it helps in the external rotation of your hip joint okay yeah sorry so gluteus maximus extension of the spine as well as extension of the hip as well as external rotation of the hip joint another option is hip abductor just now i told you what will happen if it is going for the more of the abduction it band is tight gluteus medius is tight what will happen it is going to bring more uh, tracking or lateral patellar tracking and because of which it cannot reduce the lateral patellar tracking so option a both the muscles are the ones which are not going to help for reducing lateral patellar tracking as well as option d one muscle which is hip abductor is there which is not going to help for reducing lateral patellar tracking but hip internal rotations are going to help for reducing lateral patellar tracking that is why option a is a much better option because we are asked which is the least uh, option which will reduce the lateral patellar tracking so that is why option a is going to be my answer and the correct answer for this question so i really hope that you have understood the reasoning behind this question and as well as why this a is the correct answer for the question if you still have any doubts any confusion do let me know in the comment section and if you are really enjoying this physio quest series then also please comment and let me know because i would love to see your comments and really it motivates me for bringing more and more questions and explanations like this so wish you all a very healthy and happy life so goodbye tata and keep sharing and subscribing physio trends